that no matter what song you are singing in your life, no matter what role or job or situation and circumstance you are in, that's the song that has lyrics that may be your day to day, but it is not the overarching background music of your life. Often when people are talking, and often when I was, uh, when I help people in mentoring, or when I was counseling people and so on in pastoring, I became so aware that the conversation was locked into the script and lyrics and the song of their life at that point, of that day, of that season. But I was listening for the soundtrack to their lives that they are tuned out of. Because if you tune out of the fundamental soundtrack or support pillars of your life, all you're left with is the lyrics of the song that you're singing today, the awareness of what you're doing today, what's going on today, your circumstances, situation. And so you forget and lose touch with the guiding support structures of your life. You lose touch with the background music of your life that is a constant. It will be there whatever role function circumstances are going on. So you have to learn to tune out from the song you're singing today, the lyrics and the script of today, and tune in constantly, and I get better at this all the time, to this overarching background music. It's that that enabled me, by the way, to pivot, to shift from 30 years of pastoring effortlessly. This was effortless virtually for me. After three decades of pastoring, Imagine all the entrenchment of identity that brings to us. And I pivoted effortlessly into what I do now 10 years ago. And the reason was I was far more tuned in to the soundtrack to my life of the transferable skills that didn't matter what role I was in. The soundtrack, these pillars would always be with me and would work wherever I was. That's why it's important to be tuned into those in your life. And these I'm gonna to speak to you about for me and help you find yours today, rather than the immediacy and the subjectivity of what's going on today. 